Today I'm going to show you how you can stitch together a panorama in Lightroom properly and very easily in just about 5 minutes and I'm even going to edit it afterwards as well. So what I've got here is a picture of a few panoramas that I want to stitch together of a bridge in Edinburgh, Scotland and what I want to do before I do anything else is really just select any picture, doesn't matter which, then go into the develop tool and go all the way down to the lens corrections. Now here you want to remove the chromatic aberration and you also want to enable the profile corrections. This is very helpful to get a really nice panorama without any distortions or ugly artifacts. So after you've done that with one picture, then you just want to shift click all the way to your last picture, which selects all of them. And after that, you want to synchronize the settings. That way you don't have to go to every single picture individually and have to select lens corrections, blah, blah, blah. You can just synchronize them with 10, 100 pictures if you want. So after synchronizing them, we already have them selected. Now you just want to right click on your screen, photo merge, panorama. And after just one second, we've got our preview along with three different merging options. So you've got perspective, cylindrical and spherical, and this will decide how Lightroom actually decides to stitch these pictures together. I would really suggest you to go through all of them and see whatever works best because every picture, every panorama is kind of different. So just go through all of them. Here, I think perspective works really well. Then boundary wrap is another great thing because here you can kind of wrap together your picture and thus lose less of the edges. It can also help because here I think it looks even straighter than at zero. But if you decide not to go all the way, you can also turn on auto crop and that will just crop away any of the white overlap edges on the sides. But again, here I'm just gonna go to a hundred boundary wrap and I don't need to crop anything. Now, after you've selected all of these, honestly, very scarce options that Lightroom gives you here, you just wanna click on merge and this will take a minute, maybe two minutes or longer, then it will stitch together the full resolution panorama that you can then work on. Just like that, we've got our final panorama. So look at this. Now, let me just get rid of that right here as well as brighten it up a bit. And if I zoom in here one to one, look at this crazy detail. This is just insane. I really love detail and panoramas are a great way to get that. And you know, I could print this probably two, three meters large and you will still have a ton of detail and a ton of quality in there. This right here is 53,000 by 17,000 pixels large. Like, just think about that. That's like almost 100 megapixels from a crappy 600D, you know, a very cheap old DSLR. It's really, I absolutely love panoramas just for the detail sake of it. But I should also mention something not quite as exciting. And sometimes if you stitch together panorama, Lightroom might mess up in a way that you don't even notice right away. So sometimes that might be a little edge that's not quite lined up or something like that, or perhaps like a power cable just split in the middle. So you want to make sure that before you spend a lot of time editing or even spending a lot of money printing a picture and then finding out it has some flaws, just be sure to zoom in, look at it carefully and make sure that it was stitched together in a proper way without any mistakes. And after you've done that, and in this case, it really seems that it did a great job, you can start editing your photo. Now, the great thing with a huge panorama like this is that you can just crop it however you'd like, and it really doesn't matter much because we already have so many pixels. So in this case, I really wanna crop out some of the bottom as well as some of the sky. And I think that looks pretty good. Now, what I'm gonna do is actually just edit the picture itself. So if you just came here to see how you stitch together a panorama, then I wanna thank you very much for watching and say goodbye. But if you actually are interested in editing, then I'm gonna show you how I would do it right here. So first of all, again, just brighten up everything a little bit. Then wanna bring up some of the shadows, down some of the highlights definitely bring down some of the blacks and I'm actually going to zoom in here a bit at least maybe just yeah something like that so I can have a bit more of a detailed view of it getting a little bit of clarity in there 
Now the color temperature, let's zoom out for that again. So the color temperature, I think I'm gonna make this a bit warmer than it was, just like that. And the tint, the tint is really fine. Vibrance and saturation, definitely want to bring up the vibrance as well as the saturation just by a little bit, not quite as much as the vibrance. And tonal curve, let's see what I want to do here as well. Maybe a bit into the plus darks and instead into the minus shadows. And you know, just playing around with some stuff. And I think perhaps some vignetting, yeah definitely some vignetting. And bring the feather a bit to the right. You know, really nothing crazy. Seeing if I want to adjust some of the blue tones here in the camera calibration. And I think that's pretty much it. And you know what, I think this is where I'm gonna call it an episode. I really don't want to go too far into detail editing and stuff. Here is before and here's after by the way. And I'm gonna leave you with staring at this insane detail. And if you would like to see more videos, you can subscribe. Also, there are two more videos right there. So thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.